This segment brought to you by SureCrop, liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. We're back. Now Kyle Bauer and David Hogg talk more about the state's emergency preparedness plan. Hi, this is Kyle Bauer, visiting with David Hogg. He's Assistant Emergency Management uh, Personnel with the state of Kansas. One of the things when it comes to emergency management uh, relies on volunteers, and part of your job is try to recruit those folks. Absolutely. You know, we know that in a major incident, uh, there aren't enough of us around the state. And so in, a, in some kind of an incident across the state, whether it's a foreign animal disease event or a natural disaster, anything that really impacts agriculture, we're looking for folks that would like to come on board and help us uh, respond and then recover to that event. What sort of jobs would these volunteers be doing? Uh, there's really a wide range. We have 23 positions that we've identified. Uh, anything from you know animal handling, cleaning and disinfecting, to, to more office type things with uh, communication specialists, finance and administration. It's really up to the individual of what their background is, what they're interested in, and what they feel comfortable doing. And these folks probably would likely not have to travel far. Correct. You know, really our goal would be to have volunteers in every county in the state. Uh, the goal is always to keep them as close to home as possible. Um, if that's here in Manhattan or if it's you know, anywhere from Donovan County to Gray County, we want to keep people as close to home as possible. And of course, I assume there would be some training involved. There are. We do uh, one day training workshops across the state. Uh, there's also an opportunity to do some training online. And it, it depends on kind of what your position is, what you're wanting to do. Uh, but then there's some things that are just sort of universal that we want everyone to kind of be on the same page uh, with incident management. Um, this age, from what you've described, I would think it would take a person that had really quite a lot of experience in life, but not necessarily. No, really, it's uh, about the willingness to, to be useful. It's a willingness to really serve the industry and, and really just a love for agriculture in Kansas. It's really who we're looking for. Uh, if you could have anything you wanted, how many uh, volunteers would you have in your bank? Uh, we would love to have a few hundred, honestly. Uh, the goal is at least one per county, uh, but we would love to have two, three hundred, just knowing that in a major event, we're going to need a lot of folks. So if people want to uh, at least inquire more, how might they do that? Uh, they can go to our website. It's agriculture.ks.gov, and then slash, and then the letters are K-A-E-R-C. It stands for Kansas Agriculture Emergency Response Corps. They'll have, uh, that's the easiest way to find information about what we're doing. Now, what you're doing, though, is that through the Kansas Department of Agriculture? We're at a meeting today in KDA, but are you through KDA? Yes, yeah, this is a program sponsored by KDA. Uh, people that become volunteers will be responding under the authority of the Secretary of Agriculture. Um, and we actually have the opportunity to make people temporary part-time state employees if they're activated in a major incident. And this, this allows us to give people you know, protection with uh, workman's comp, liability, and even to potentially reimburse them for their time for volunteering. We're visiting with David Hogg. He's Assistant Director of Emergency Management for the Kansas Department of Agriculture. Back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Kyle. Come back after the break for this week's Kansas Farm Bureau update. I dug trees by hand for years and years and years. In the process, I wore out my rotary cuff. But when I learned about this process, I thought if there was a way to get rid of this pain, then I, then I wanted to do it. So we did it and it worked. I'm not going to go out and dig trees and shovel anymore, but I can do the things that I want to do now 